And a message from the Middleton Cross Plains Area School District to a fired teacher who wants his job back. We'll see you in court. That teacher was sent pornographic emails by his sister, which he viewed at school. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Eric Franke. First tonight, the Middleton Cross Plains School Board met to decide whether to reinstate Andrew Harris after he was fired back in May of 2010. The night team's David Douglas has their decision. It's new tonight at 10. David? Just a half hour ago, Eric, the board returned from closed session and voted 8 to 1 to appeal an arbitrator's ruling that would have reinstated Andrew Harris as a 7th grade science teacher at Glacier Creek Middle School. Harris received 23 emails over the course of about an 18-month period from his sister that were pornographic in nature and did not ask her at any point to stop sending them. Concerned that Harris could be reinstated, parents came to tonight's school board meeting asking the board to do whatever necessary and in some cases spend whatever necessary to keep Harris out of the classroom. Two people did speak on his behalf. Ultimately, the board decided against him, saying if necessary, they'll appeal all the way to the Supreme Court. I think that the board and the community feels that this is definitely public policy that needs to be affirmed, that this behavior is unacceptable in schools, and that this is not a case just about Middleton Cross Plains Area School District, that it's a bigger case than that. Take a stand and let the communities know that our children cannot and will not be taught by individuals that are lascivious, sexist, and perverted. After reviewing this case, it's obvious Andrew Harris has an addiction to pornography of which he is in denial. I must say that nowhere have I read that this man is a pedophile. He is not a pedophile and there's no evidence of him being a pedophile. The case is now headed for circuit court. More details will be coming out in the coming days about exactly when and how that will happen and what it will play out as it does. Oh, there's no word tonight on how much money it could cost to have an appeal like this, to mount this appeal. The district has already spent upwards of $300,000 in legal fees associated with this case. One board member, Bob Hesselbeim, did object to the decision voting against it and issued a statement to us tonight saying that too much money has already been spent on this one case and he didn't want to see any more taxpayer money spent on it, that the arbitrator's decision should stand, that the arbitrator was chosen by both parties, and that we should move forward from this. Uh, he did say, though, however, he wanted to make very clear that what the conduct was was in no way acceptable, and that the people involved had clearly been punished both formally and publicly. Much more to come, and it's a case we'll continue to follow. All right, David Douglas, live in Middleton tonight. David, thank you very much for that report.